Hey guys, today we are taking a look at Mummy Meigs and we'll be looking at their vegan Christmas chocolate offerings they have this year for Christmas 2020. So you probably recognize this brand from Hans and Barrett. That is where I normally grab their products. They're best known for their little like Rocky Road chocolate bars, which are absolutely delicious. They're really good at creating delicious chocolate and often incorporate marshmallows into their recipes. So I'm really excited that they offered to send me a PR haul full of their Christmas products. And I must say the one thing that I am most excited about is their advent calendar. I love an advent calendar. I don't care how old you get. You're never too old for an advent calendar. My mum actually still typically buys me advent calendars and I'd already asked for this advent calendar before they offered to send it across me as a PR product. One thing that is really cool to know is that this is palm oil free. Do you know what I actually do find quite important? I am going to taste test one of these for you guys. I'm going to take away the chocolate from the first day and that is just that I like my advent chocolates to have pictures on them. I like them to have gone into a print and come out with something like a reindeer or whatever on them. So I'm going to see whether or not they do that. Okay, so first off when you open the door there is a bit of foil. I guess that is for freshness. And there's a little angel on it. It's actually been ages since I've had an advent which has like pictures on it. Pictures on it. It's quite a smooth like milk style chocolate. I personally really love dark chocolate so it's alright but I love dark. It's really smooth. It's like the right level of sweet. It's a nice chocolate and it's a really good advent calendar. I love that it's got pictures on it and it's only £5. I say only £5 but I've been vegan a very long time. So for ages the only options I actually could have were stuff like Montezuma's or Hotel Chocolat which were very good quality and very delicious but they cost like £10 a pop at least. Whereas I'm pretty sure non-vegan chocolate advents are sometimes like as cheap as £1. So this is five pounds and I think that's worth spending on it and whilst I'm an adult and I love it I also think it'd be a really fun option for children who are dairy free and it's a lot more similar to normal chocolate advents. So I think two of the most exciting products are these ones which are very hot chocolate based. So this one is a bauble. So the idea is that you drop it into a warm mug of plant based milk and then you watch the magic happen and it will melt to create a luxurious hot chocolate. I will test this out for you guys and future Nicole give a review but I'm a bit sceptical about how great that will be. But yeah, when you open it up, it is actually a bauble, so um Oh god. So that not good. Okay. It's like Humpty Dumpty. It's in pieces. That's a shame. Be careful when you're taking that out. Don't assume it's gonna be okay and maybe avoid hanging up on, on the tree. I'm still gonna try it as a hot chocolate. I wonder what it tastes like. Yeah, it's so fun. I'm gonna wrap that back up. I'm not gonna hang it on any tree. I'm just gonna pop it into a mug of hot vegan milk and see how it goes. But I guess the idea was that would hang up on a tree. To make this hot chocolate, I heated up some milk in the microwave and I just did a sip test to check it was hot enough. And then I add in hot water to make it really hot. And here we're going in with the bauble. God, I had to film this for you guys because I know you wouldn't believe that this would actually work. I really didn't either when I first dropped it in, but keep on stirring and it, it kind of gets there. I did think it would be a wise idea to go for this stirrer, but <laughs> that was a mess. But it's, it was really well blended. It worked a treat and I think I'm trying to grab a marshmallow for you guys. Oh yeah, I managed it. But it was a nice hot chocolate. It was good. It was a lot of faff though, but it was good. And then one of their other hot chocolate products is a stirring spoon. This is definitely a lot more traditional. I definitely would have asked one of these for Christmas and I'd love to find it under the tree. This costs $1.99 whereas the bauble costs £2.99 and the bauble may have been something a little bit more new and innovative. I don't think it's necessarily executed just as well whereas the stirrer is quite classic for a reason and that's just that it melts as you stir and it's just very easy to use. This time round I think I put in a little bit too much hot water like there's barely any milk in this one but I really like the stirrer. I think this is just a much better format for this hot chocolate style product and it tastes so delicious to like look at the spoon as you're stirring. It did take a while but it didn't take too long to do this. I love that there are marshmallows involved. I feel like it really completes the hot chocolate experience and if you're feeling really bougie and you have some nearby, get yourself some vegan whipped cream and really enjoy a hot chocolate. There are also these jolly buttons. These are £1.49. If you're really into like cake decorations, gingerbread decorations, these are actually like button shaped. So if you're making like Santa Claus or whatever or a gingerbread man, you can use these to decorate and I think that's really nice. It's definitely very kid friendly um, and also baker friendly. I'm not going to be doing anything like that but Mmm, that's good. I haven't actually tried them do a chocolate before. I've just, I've had the Rocky Road, 
which is obviously chocolate based but it's not just like a chocolate bar and then they also have a chocolate orange I know a lot of people have chocolate orange and it's a very festive thing I feel like a lot of people instead of getting like an orange at the bottom of their stockings get a Terry's chocolate orange so I really would love them to have done this as kind of like a bauble and recreated like the Terry's chocolate orange wedge thing but I reckon that would have ended up being quite expensive because you have to use a lot of chocolate involved in that like if I had a Terry's chocolate orange that was vegan and it was hollow, I'd be really upset. I'm not the biggest chocolate orange fan, but it's definitely something that's festive. And I know a lot of people love it, so it's great that there's this option. This is the design on it. Everything's quite cute, and this makes it really easy to break off into segments. I'm actually one of those people that won't eat a whole chocolate bar at once, so it's nice that I can have it in like three different sittings. Definitely orangey. No people flavour here. I feel like I could do it with it being a bit tangier. I feel like it's got a lot of zest, but not a lot of tang. But again, I'm not a big chocolate orange fan. I'll still eat it, but... Okay, well that is it for the products I've been sent. I believe they do have more products. You can find them in Holland and Barrett. Please do check them out. And if you are into all things vegan, I do have a Christmas playlist so you can enjoy a lot of different vegan Christmas content. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit like. It really helps me out. And please do hit subscribe if you are interested in all things vegan. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye!